what kind of parts make up milk? What the names of those parts are? Have you guys ever heard of that song, Miss Mary and Vincent? And what does she eat? Curds in the way. Curds in the way. Curds in the way. The whey is um, the protein, and the curds is what's left over. Milk is seven eighths part water. So that's what we're trying to get out as much liquid as we can. What we get up with the curds. What we're going to do first is pasteurize the milk, which means what? Does anyone know what pasteurizing does? Gets rid of all anything that's harmful to us. Yeah, and it also gets rid of some things that are helpful to us too. But we have to um, pasteurize our milk in order for it to be safe for everybody to drink. We have to bring it to a, t a temperature of 180 degrees, and that's going to pasteurize it. The milk that we buy in a grocery store comes from hundreds of cows from all over the country, and if just one of them happens to be sick, we could, we could get that disease if they don't pasteurize. I'd like a volunteer to come up and stir. I just want a slow, and I want somebody to come here with the um, thermometer and tell me when that gets to be 180 degrees. <laughs> It's really sensitive. It was already down. Like, what is it at right now? Uh, 140. 140. Awesome. So going back about 40 degrees to go. The first written account of um, cheese, so the, the oldest account that we have, um, came from the um, Middle Eastern area, about 3000 BC, right? 3000 BC? And um, there was a shepherd, and he had his sheep out this there. Could be a day. It is. Well, no. Actually, you guys are going to eat in the cafeteria, so please don't eat only pizza. Darn it. Yeah. So. We'll get to eat it. Just to make sure we'll get to eat. So, we had a shepherd, and he was out tending to his flock of sheep, right? And um, one of his kids died. One of the baby sheep died, maybe I should say. And um, instead of just throwing away the carcass, he's going to use every little piece of it as, as he can. So he's going to probably take the hide and make something out of it, tan the hide. He's going to um, stomach to make a bag, exactly, in the bones maybe for some jewelry or some tools. Yeah, so the mother was still producing milk, so he went ahead and had to milk the mother. And he used the stomach bag of the baby to store the milk in. He left it hanging in a tree, and when he came back, it was separated into curds and whey. Now, why do you think... Yeah, because you're probably out in the hot, hot sun. It's out in the hot, hot sun, so that may have been a factor in it. What is found in a stomach lining? Uh, yes. yes, stomach acid. It's actually, to still mucus. today, huh? Or mucus. Or mucus. It's actually something to do more with stomach acid, but um, mucus. <laughs> mucus there's an enzyme in the stomach called rennet, and it's something that we still use today to make the cheeses that you find pretty much all over the world. We use different enzymes and different bacteria to produce different kinds of cheeses. But rennet nowadays, we don't we don't necessarily use it um, straight from the stomach line anymore. Don't disturb. It's not it's not real life. It's just amazing. Stomach-made cheese. Since right. So when I lived, um, yeah, when I lived in Paraguay, a lot of my neighbors still use the stomach lining of cows to make their cheese. Ew. Mm -hmm. And it was good cheese, cheese too. Milk. Huh? Milk. You mean with the whey that's left over? Um, have you guys ever heard of whey protein? No. They use it in power bars and milkshake, like power milkshakes and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you guys remember the Miami group, right? Yeah. Bottoms up. One, two, three. Go. Maybe you need a lemon. Chug, 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 the fresh herbs, and you guys can pick whatever you want and add it to your cheese. Yeah. Did you guys know, like a hard thing to make the store for waking up time? Is that enough? <laughs> 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 they also have like these. Want to add some of these? Does anyone else want a way shot? 
And that goat milk just tasted like, tasted like vinegar. What did you did you do that? I took a shot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they put the goat cheese on one half and the mozzarella on the other half. Mm-hmm. You eat it. Okay. Okay. Do we just take it? Do we just take it or what? Yeah, go ahead and grab a cup. You'll probably get one piece each, guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,